my darlings welcome back to my channel my name is Nisha and I love fragrances so today we have a haul yes it's that time again my favorite time so yes we have a haul and if you want to see what I have please stay tuned so guys let's get the these first few that I have that was sent to me by the company so I'm going to show you what I got as gifts and um, then I'll go to the ones that I actually purchased so the first perfume that I have is from the House of Memoirs London. Now, I do not own anything from this brand and I have never tried anything from them as well. So I was ecstatic when they sent me a fragrance to try out and they even sent me a sample set so I could also try out different ones. Um, from this collection, there is like, um, there's best sellers, there's dark range, there's a light range, there's limited edition. There's travel sizes. So there's a bunch to choose from from this house. And they were kind enough to send me this fragrance here. This is the box. It's called Isla Rose. This is the box here. Let me make sure it's right side it up. So guys, this is what it looks like. The fragrance sits in this bed here. It's just regular packaging. The box is not too, you know, it's just regular packaging. I wouldn't say it's luxurious. It's really nice though. It's sturdy. And this here is the fragrance. This is the bottle, Isla Rose. Now the packaging, it's rose gold. The cover, I'm not too keen on because the cover, it's, to be honest, the cover is quite cheap. But the bottle is very heavy and good quality, the bottle. It's just the cork I have a problem with, but hey, it's not even a problem. That It is what it is. It's about the juice, okay? It's about the juice inside. So let me tell you a little bit about Isla Rose. So it says the essence of unconditional love, special moments in life can take you off guard. Moments that make your heart beat faster, your skin tingle and your mind whirl. Moments where everything changes forever. Isla Rose is a magical scent made to celebrate eternal love and take you back to those times when it first began. I was like, wow, that's such a nice, story behind this fragrance and guys when you read the story and then you spray this fragrance it's like it the, the fragrance is like it's translating the story if you know what i'm saying it's just it takes you on that journey and honestly it makes you feel like that maybe if i didn't read the story i may not go down that road but knowing the whole story behind it to me it was beautiful so this is the packaging as i said the notes are to the top we have red rose red berries we have middle notes of jasmine magnolia cardamom raspberry and the base we have oud wood sandalwood amber leather and musk so guys let me show you how it is see that atomizer very nice atom guys <laughs> this is okay let me tell you I, I read you the notes let me tell you how i feel about this fragrance how i feel when i spray this this fragrance right here she's dainty she's very girly she's feminine she's soft she's not loud but she makes an impact okay she's a little bit mysterious guys this fragrance here is so well blended it's hard to pinpoint exactly what you're smelling. I know I smell the rose. I know I smell the berries to the top. I wouldn't say I get much um, oud wood and, and leather and sandalwood and all that. I don't get it. But there is a creaminess. So probably that's the uh, sandalwood. But I'm not getting any oud. Guys, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Now this fragrance, I'm thinking you spray it. It's one of those fragrances when you spray and you smell you know sometimes you spray a fragrance and it projects and it hits you hard because you could smell it when you go up this one when you smell it's soft right you think it's soft but it's not this fragrance i over sprayed i was like i went ham on it right when i just got it a few days and my daughter was like mom are you trying to kill me she said you're choking me out it's so strong i went outside and my neighbor they could smell me people were passing by and like I got compliments from this fragrance and I'm thinking it's a soft 
delicate fragrance or nobody's going to smell me you have to come up close and personal no this fragrance i'm telling you it's the the power of this is in the sillage the power of this fragrance the sillage it's not one of those that will hit you hard like that but the, it, it fills a room and it's absolutely stunning i really really enjoy it now this fragrance as i said it's not a heavy thick dense fragrance it's a very airy soft it's gentle if i would tell you if i could describe this in one word what would it be this is innocent to me it smells of innocence yes when you smell this it's so innocent it's so beautiful this is very feminine i would not say this is unisex to me it's very feminine it's very girly it's absolutely beautiful so guys this is isla rose so this is the sample set that they sent me and this is from the dark side so this is the more heavy hitters kind of thing more sensual dark deep fragrances this is how it looks now i haven't really played with this much yet but i do know i like this one superbia i think it's called yeah this one right here so i have to play with this some more and let you guys i'll i'll tell you how i feel about these but so far i really really enjoy this i i'm loving this memoirs london yeah these fragrances these four fragrances were sent to me by okja yes these were actually sent to me by okja um so these are the four new fragrances that they came out with the, this is the summer new ones they came out with this last month and they sent them to me so let me tell you about them so this is the packaging very simple very sleek you guys know I, I did a whole review on this already and the ones they sent me oh my god come out was crazy good crazy good is a dupe for effing fabulous by tom ford and guys it's effing fabulous let's put it this way so this one very very close to the original and i don't really like effing fabulous it's not a fragrance from tom ford that i really like but this is the exact duped it because i tried it and i know it smells exactly the same so this is effing fabulous not one of my favorites i must say moving on the other one that they sent me was summer bronze no bronze summer oh i'm dyslexic bronze summer guys this one is i was testing this out side by side with the original tom ford soleil blanc and guys i am telling you the dry down is spot on now i noticed with these fragrances most times the opening it's a little bit off but give it some time give it a good five minutes and then it turns into the like exact dupe of the other one and guys i had both on both hands like i had the original and this one and in the dry down i could not tell which one was which this is so so good they hit the nail on the head with this one and you will smell this all day on you okay so this is bronze summer by ocha the other one that they sent me it's called madame rose madame rose is the dupe for guess what Delina. Yes, they came out with a dupe for Delina. And guys, when I tell you, I love it. I love it. Now, when you first spray this, it's a bit off-putting. You it's 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 a pretty smell, but at first when you just spray it, it does not smell very close to Delina. I'm not going to lie to you. But let it dry down. As I said, give these fragrances a good 5-10 minutes to dry down, and it smells so freaking close. Now, I would say it's about 95% close guys and this thing lasts so long I got this and I just went ham on it and everybody could smell me everybody could smell me so yes Madame Rose you're looking for a little dupe of Delena you need to check this out Madame Rose the last one from the four for the new collection is called Secret Lagoon guys this is a dupe for Virgin Island Water by Creed. Now that is a fragrance that I have to add to my collection because I absolutely love it. But when I smell this, because I have a sample of it, I have a decant. And when I spray this side by side, yo, exact in my opinion. As I say, just spray it and let it dry down. This here, 
lasts so long. I sprayed this on my friend. She came by and I would just zap her up. I'm a sprayed it. And she, she came back. She's like, what is that? Did you spray on me? She said, I need a bottle. You need to order me a bottle. I don't care. This thing lasted all day long because she went about her business. She was, they had a little outing with the family. So she was in and out of the sun under the water and everything. And she said, every time she put her clothes on, she would get whiffs of this. And she absolutely loves it because it lasted all day and she could smell it on the clothes the next day. So this is Secret Lagoon by Ocha. This is the dupe for Virgin Island Water. And these are all x -trait. So guys, it's gonna last you a very long time and you do not need a lot. So the other ones that I added to my collection now, this one I have a full review on my channel, so you could go check it out. And this is Mile High from Palomar de Parfum. Mile High is a beautiful pineapple, fresh, bright fragrance, beautiful for the summer. As I said, I have a full review on this. I'm not gonna get into too much notes, but it's long lasting. It smells juicy and delicious. You're looking for a pineapple fragrance, a kind of different twist on pineapple. Check this one on my high, Mile High. The other one I bought from the same um, house is Guavema de Noel. Guavema de Noel, yeah. Christmas Marshmallow. Guys, smells very close to Love Don't Be Shy. As I said, I have a review on this already on this house. So I'm not gonna talk too much, but gorgeous, sweet, marshmallow, deliciousness. It's a little bit lighter than the original Love Don't Be Shy, a kind of summer version of it, if you will. So yeah, check this out. So this is Guamave de Noel. <laughs> so yeah, so these two from the house of Palema Perfumes. I really, really enjoy that house and I need to get some more from them. So yeah, guys, I'm so excited that I got my hands on this unicorn. I have to say it's a unicorn because this is discontinued because I went to uh, a money privé um, counter and the girl said, sorry, it's discontinued, but I can let you smell it. And I'm like, really? You're going to do that to me? But I found a brand new bottle online. I bought it off of this um, fragrance group and it was new, it's like two sprays missing. And I was like, I grabbed that. And guys, I'm so, so excited that I got it. And this is Amber Essential. Guys, why does this people stop making the best ones this is delicious this is ambery it has dry fruits guys it has cinnamon it has tonka bean oh my god it's so warm it's spicy it's sweet it's gourmand it has that patchouli to the oh my god guys this is so warm and it's like a dessert it's so delicious Guys, I am so happy. And this thing lasts a long time on your skin. And when you spray it, you're just smelling yourself and you're just getting that warm, snuggly feeling. Guys, I'm so, so happy to have this in my collection. Amber Essential. I am in love with amber fragrances these days. And I'm like, what is it? But I always love it. And I think I've been buying so much of it. And guys, I'm so, so happy to have this in my collection. So that's Amber Essential. Up next, we have this stunning, stunning fragrance. And look, now guys, I did a full review on this. So I don't know if it's going up before or after this, but I don't know. But I'm not gonna talk too much about it just in case I haven't put up that review yet. Okay, look at the box. This thing, I swear this has like a good five pounds. Look, okay. oh, ow, my finger. Guys, look at this, Royal Sultan. Royal Crown Sultan, my bad. Guys, this is sexy, it is heavy, it is luxurious, it is bougie. Ooh. It's a complex vanilla that has depth, it's dark, it's sweet, it's smoky, and it's sexy. Let's leave it at that, okay? Ooh, my, my. So that's Royal Sultan. I'm so happy to buy this. Look out for my review, okay? Moving on. This other fragrance that I hauled is from the house of Atelier Cologne, and this is Rouge Sore. Now, it comes up like this. The packaging in this is so beautiful, guys. Oh my God, another one. And so it just pulls out like this. And yes, these are the ones with the gold flakes. So, so beautiful. <coughs> oh, damn! almost break it go back to regular schedule program 
So guys, look at this. Oh my God, take a moment. I know you guys see this a million and one time, but it's still amusing to me, okay? I love it. So guys, Rousseray. I've smelled this before. This was not a blind buy. Uh, my friend Emmy sent this to me since last year. She sent me a sample and I loved it. And I don't know why I kept procrastinating on buying this fragrance. I knew I wanted it, but I, I'm like, you know what? And when it came back in stock, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to grab this. Guys, it's a f it has a fruity opening with a little bit of floral. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's a little bit woody. This is an oriental gourmand. It's so decadent. This would, I would wear this in winter and fall. This is not a summer fragrance. You could wear it when you want, you know, never mind. But I'll wear, I'll wear this more in the winter and fall. Guys, it's so, so good. It's such a beautiful fragrance. As I said, it has a fruity opening with a little bit of floral, a little bit woody. Very, very nice. I really, really like this. So now I have two from the house. I have Rose Omad here yeah? and this one. So I'm so happy to have this one in my collection, Rouge Serre. Up next, we have this fragrance from Boise 1920 and it's Sushi Imperial. Guys, I took out the packaging because it's too much stress to take it out every time. So this is Sushi Imperial. Guys, I had this in and out of my cart for so long. I heard about it for a while. And when my girl AI the Great, Aisha, spoke about this and she was hyping this up, I'm like, you know what? I need to have it in my collection. And I hunted this down and I bought it. And guys, I do not regret it. This is so, so beautiful. Guys, this is, it's citrus. It has citrus. It's warm. It's spicy. You smell cinnamon. Of course, you smell that. Mm, it's a bit powdery. It's kind of aromatic to me. It has a vibe of, see how Naxos has that? kind of vibe it's, it's kind of like that it's so so beautiful guys it's spicy you smell the nutmeg you smell the cinnamon it's bright it's fresh in the opening so it's bright and fresh and citrusy in the opening guys this is sweet and sexy in the dry down it's creamy it's woody it's it's kind of boozy Oh my god this is so so beautiful and it lasts a long time and it just has this vibe about it it's not a heavy fragrance even though it has that cinnamon and nutmeg and all that it's very light and airy and beautiful i really really enjoy this i'm so happy to have this one in my collection and this is totally unisex this is totally 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 unisex so get your nose on sushi imperial i don't know why they call it sushi imperial but whatever it smells good get your nose on this baby right here see how much i already used from it and i didn't have it that long so yeah sushi imperial by ball 1920. up next we have this fragrance called still life of rio from olfactive studios guys hope you could pick it up still life and real guys this is so fresh this is Oh my goodness, it's so bright and fresh and mm, it's so good for this for the summer months. Guys, it's very green like to the opening. It has coconut, it has citrus. Let me give you some of the notes for this one. It opens up with the yuzu. It has lemon, it has ginger, mint and mandarin to the top. So, you know, you have all those citruses with that ginger to the top and the mint. So everything is fresh, fresh, fresh. And you do pick up that freshness in this fragrance. This is the most citrusy fragrance that I have. And this citrus to me lasts through the whole life of the fragrance. In my opinion, on my skin, I get that yuzu and that lemon and that minty vibes right through. It's so fresh. Guys, it in the mid, it has coconut, pepper, black pepper. It says pepper and black pepper. So I don't know if it, it has rum. It has leather. Guys, listen. This is so beautiful. This is amazing in the high heat. This does really well in the high heat. When it's so hot, you spray this and you feel fresh and clean. It's citrus, as I said, has a coconut green. It's refreshing. It's boozy. It's like a cocktail. Now, I don't drink, but I've smelt it and it looks good. So, <laughs> guys. You need to try this and on my skin i spray this to go to bed and i wake up smelling this on my clothes 
I don't know about the skin, but my clothes, I could still smell it. And as I said, that bright citrusy vibes stays with this through the whole life of the fragrance. Usually citruses and stuff don't stay the whole life of fragrances. It dies off fast, but this one does really, really well. I love this. Up next, we have a fragrance from the house of DS and Durga. Now, this is my second fragrance from this house. I have, um, what's it called? I forgot. I have... Um, Radio Bombay, my bad, Radio Bombay. I wasn't too, I'm on the fence about that one, but Atlantic Rose, I really, really like it. This is a fresh, hold on, let me spray this. This is a fresh green citrusy rose. It has that marine touch. It's salty, it's aromatic, and in the dry down, you can get, when I spray this in the dry down, you get that earthiness. It's like an earthiness. It's from the moss I get. It's very earthy. It's salty with rose. So it's like an earthy, salty rose. I get that earthiness. When I smell deep in, let me spray it on the other hand. I get that that mossiness to the to the dry down. I get it so prominent on my skin. Oh my god, I could mm. let me see the notes for this. So this has rose petals, it has a lemon, it has bergamot. In the mid, it has rose again. It has lime blossom, linden. It has salt. It has grass, seawater, oak moss, and musk. So you get that oceany, aquatic, marine-like vibe, but you get the rose, but the mossiness comes out really strong in my hand. That dry down, I could get it. Oh my god this is beautiful this is really really nice it's a nice refreshing rose beautiful beautiful i'm happy to have this in my collection so that's atlantic rose by ds and durga up next we have this fragrance from this house that i have been loving i bought two from this house so i'm going to show you so i'll show you the packaging in one i'm not going to show you the packaging in the other so this is from Car carolina herrera and it's sandal ruby this is the box it opens up like this. Come on. Ah. I have to say this fragrance was inspired by Veronica's says. There we go. It has a little card here with the information. Let me turn it around. So this is how it looks. Beautiful red bottle. But you can still see the juice in it. It's not where well, you can't see it. Guys, this is heavy. The cap. Magnetic cap. The bottle stunning the juice breathtaking okay let me give you the notes so on the little card that they gave you here has all the notes which is so convenient so the top notes has black pepper cinnamon the heart notes has geranium tuberose petals the bottom notes has sandalwood patchouli and cedar wood guys that's all they said but this thing sounds it smells so complex it smells so look at the atomized okay look mm. oh my god guys this is so beautiful it's spicy it's woody it's warm it's a long lasting okay you don't have to worry about longevity this is a total total unisex mm, fragrance it's so good it's a bit powdery as well guys as I said, it's spicy, it's woody, it's warm, it's intoxicating. It fills a room. Siage, longevity, excellent. I am so, so happy to try this, uh, to have this fragrance in my collection. I cannot tell you how much I love it. So that's uh, Sandal Ruby by Carolina Herrera. Beautiful, beautiful. Moving on, let's do the other one as we're here. So this one, I spoke about this one in my videos already because I spoke about my date night fragrances. And this one is Saffron Lazuli. Guys, this is so seductive. It's, oh, you smell the saffron for sure. But the saffron is delicious. It's sweetened. It's powdery. It's sexy. It's alluring. Let me give you some of the notes, okay? So this fragrance has saffron to the top. It has black currant. That's where the sweetness comes is in and the creaminess with some tonka bean. Then we have rose and iris. So it's a little bit powdery, as I said. And then the base, we have leather, vanilla, and guyac wood. So it's sweet. It's leathery a little bit. 
Uh, but that's saffron. You can tell this one is saffron. It's not that leathery smelling saffron. But it's sweet with the vanilla to the base and the guyac wood. Oh my God, guys. This is so unique. It's so delicious. It's so intoxicating. I really, really enjoy it. These two right here, I love it. And I cannot wait to get more from the collection. Really, really happy to have these in my collection. So yeah, those are from the Carolina Herrera Confidential line, I think it is. So yeah, moving on. I'm sorry if it's long, guys. Grab a snack, grab a drink. You know when I have hauls, it's long. You know this. So I hope you guys are prepared, okay? I hope you have your drink and your snack. We're almost done. The other one is from the House of Nishani, and it's 100 Silent Ways. Yes, I finally got it. 100 Silent Ways. <clears throat> now, you guys know that I love the House of Nishani, so I decided to get this. So this one has tuberos. Mm. It has peach. It has mandarin, gardenia, orris, jasmine, vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. It's a very sweet fragrance. It's kind of reminiscent of um, opium, black opium from YSL. This is nice. It's pretty. It's, you know, feminine. Is it one of my favorites from Nishani? No. Do I like it? Yes. But it's a like and not a love as yet. Probably I didn't play with it enough. So I know everybody loves this, but to me it's just like, eh, it's okay. It's nice. It's aight. So yeah, so that's Nishani 100 Silent Ways. I'm sorry guys, I know some of you really love this. Maybe it will grow on me, who knows? Maybe it will. So that's Nishani 100 Silent Ways. So yeah, moving on. Guys, I finally picked this up. I was, I don't know. This is C. Fiori. When this just came out, I sprayed it and I really, really liked it but I never bought it. I'm like, why didn't I buy this? But then I heard that they're gonna be discontinuing this. So then you know, the psychopath in me had to have it. Cause I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna be discontinued and I want it. I always loved it. I would pass it by, but then I heard it's discontinued. I'm like, girl, grab this before it's gone. This is such a pretty fragrance. So this is C, Fiori by Armani. Let me give you some notes. So guys, this one, mm, it's so pretty, it's so delicate. It opens up with black currant and green mandarin. It has neroli, rose patchouli, oak musk, vanilla, and white musk. Guys, this is such a beautiful fragrance. This, is, this will be a beautiful bridal fragrance. It's floral, it's delicate, it's feminine such a gorgeous fragrance and it lasts a pretty darn long time on my skin so guys if you're looking for that pretty floral for the summer that effortless fragrance that would make you smell feminine and pretty and soft beautiful floral here by Armani C Fiori guys I saw my girl Lauren again talk about this fragrance it's very inexpensive fragrance you see how much I, I went down on it now it wasn't new I got it about here because it was used when I bought it because I didn't know where to find it and somebody was selling it at a very very good price and I <coughs> grab it guys this is Aqua de Perfumo Me listen I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this I'll put it up on the screen okay you'll see what it is guys this is so good this is warm it's spicy it's ambery it's powdery oh my god guys this smells so divine and it does remind me of Mas Ravageur by poetry um not by poetry by this guy Frederick Mall guys this is such a it's a very inexpensive fragrance but it smells so so good and longevity and everything it's not the best but it's good guys I really really enjoy this and i'm so happy to have this little cheapie in my collection now it's a little lighter version of Mos ravageur but it has that reminiscence of it you know that familiarity that's another word you know what i'm trying to say so so good so if you're looking to try this and you could find this get your nose on this it's inexpensive and it's worth every penny of it it's beautiful so that's whatever that is i'll put the name up i'm not even gonna try guys this brand, I don't hear people talking about it at all. 
and I saw it pop up and the notes were so intriguing and I'm like I'm going to take a chance with this I'm going to blind buy this because as I said I checked to see if reviews and there wasn't much reviews and a lot of people do not know about this fragrance guys and this is from fourth and manly amber absolute Ab amber absolutely guys look at the bottle it's so cute this i think is one of my favorite ambers yes i said it oh my goodness this is so intoxicating guys oh, let me give you some of the notes on the website so it says the amber is the amber is accompanied with the oriental trimming of the musk, the benzoin, and labdanum, capturing the amber's rich, the amber's rich facet. Amber absolutely surrounds the namesake resin in a golden flow of raw honey straight from the hives. It has plum that complements the amber, and it has rose, it has cedarwood, and it has vetiver. So guys, this is breathtaking it is delicious it is sexy if you love amber you need to get this in your life okay guys omg this is stunning okay it is stunning this is so so beautiful it's a not a dry amber it's a very to me juicy amber i don't know if it's the plum in it but that honey is so, so strong in this. You can pick up the honey. When I just got this fragrance, guys, I didn't know it had honey because Fragranzica didn't list honey, okay? And when I sprayed this, my daughter, she absolutely hates anything that I have with honey. I don't know. She's like a little detective. She picks it up. And she's like, ew, mom, you're wearing that honey thing. I'm like, no, it doesn't have honey. She says, yes, it does. I'm like, girl, please. I went on the website and look it says it says uh, golden glow from the raw honey straight from the hives I said Aliyah you pick up honey anywhere so this didn't state that it has honey on Fragrantica but on the website it does and you could smell that honey it's a very thick decadent sweet ambery oh my god this is so stunning guys if you love amber you would love this to me it's sensual and it's sexy and it's perfect for the colder weather it is so so good i really really love this and i'm so so happy i took the chance to buy this fragrance here so this is from fourth and manly and it's amber absolute you need to check this out you need to check this out okay please get your nose on this now it's very unisex as i said but it's so divine it's kind of when I spray this, it's ambery, but it has that incense vibes. To me, it has that incense vibes as well. It's so, so beautiful, guys. You need to get your nose on this. So this is Amber Absolute by Fourth and Manly. And that, my friends, was the last of my fragrances in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed purchasing them and blind buying it and all the excitement that comes with it. Yes, I absolutely love it. And these are the new addition to my perfume collection. Thank you for the companies that sent me the fragrances in the beginning. And the rest is what I bought. I said what I got. So, you know, disclaimer here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please do not click off without doing that. Because I know you guys are watching and you're not subscribing. So please subscribe and leave me a comment. What new fragrances have you been loving for this summer? Okay. Until next video, guys. Be safe. Be kind. And smell fabulous. Bye now.